Okay, hello everyone. Uh, this is Mr. L. Broden here again, and today I am doing a quick showcase of um, Shoot Style Deku in My Hero 1 Justice 2 Remix. So, of course, um, if you don't know what this is, it's a PC mod um, that is basically like the update we've all been wanting. It makes the characters so much more fun. It makes also makes the game a lot more balanced as well. Not only does it give fun combos and like new stuff to characters, it also makes it a lot more balanced. So, mega thanks to Kuro and Spa. Um, I'll leave a link to the Discord where you can download the uh, the mod pack if you want it. It's very easy. I'm not a modder, but I could do it very easily. But uh, yeah, let's get into the video. So I'm not going to be talking about like all about shoot style Deku. I'm just going to be talking about what's different about him in this. And there are only a few like main changes to him. So and that kind of has to go with um they they kind of all are centered around how his quirk one works. So his quirk one has two changes. If you hit it just on the ground, it's a wall splat. So you can just get a full combo off of it like this. And then get some, you know, good damage like that. But if you hit it in the air, it doesn't wall splat, but it leaves them in a weird bounce. And that bounce, you can actually jump cancel. So if you jump as it lands, you can just, like, attack. And going for a full combo that way. Which is very interesting stuff. So it opens for, up for a lot more opportunity, uh, combo opportunities. And another thing that's slightly different is he can cancel his um his tilt attack into just like regular buttons. So to like do something weird like that. Um, and then you instead of canceling it into buttons, you can also cancel it into his tilt quirk two. And what's different about his tilt quirk two is just like his um quirk one where you can jump cancel it into buttons, you can actually do that with Silk Work 2. So you can just jump at any point, like at the beginning or near the end, just not after the last hit. You can't jump there. So like, as long as it's not that last flip kick, you can jump. And then go in for a full combo. And as you can see in these combos that I'm doing, the final big change is that he can cancel his um, Quirk 1 off of his Quirk 2 string. So what, his Quirk 2 where he does these rapid kicks, he can um, uh, cancel those even after the third hit into his quirk one. The, after the third hit, it usually only works if you're like close to a wall or something. So if I do something like this, it might work there, or it usually works like that. Because um, then they like bounce into you. But usually, like here. I just cancel after the second hit of the string, and then that works pretty consistently. So, with all of that, uh, those are basically the major changes. There's also, like, of course, a lot of other changes, but I won't go over all of them, because this is just, a, like, a basic video. You can check it all out if you get the mod yourself. Like, there's a few changes, like, his, um... His Tilt Quirk 2, like, wall splats when you're near a wall. Which I find kind of odd, and I, actually that's one of the one things that I don't like, because it kind of screws up your combos if you're trying to do a combo, and then all of a sudden they're in the wall, and then like, you didn't expect them to go in the wall, and then now they're in the wall. But, but I'll take the good things over the, the, the one bad thing. There's a lot of, lot of good things. So, now that I've spoken about what the main changes are, what is the bread and butter combo? Well, what I found works pretty well is just doing two hits into his tilt attack, and then doing this. Wait, I'll tell you what the buttons are afterwards. <laughs> and keep in mind, this is zero dash cancels for 11,000 damage. And a wall splat, like, I mean, a, a, um, a, media, a media blow at the end. So 11,000, zero dash cancels, and a media blow at the end. So they're on the ground for a while, and, you know, they can't jump up and recover or do anything. So you've got the, a good knockdown. Uh, yeah. So it was two hits into a tilt attack. And then you cancel the tilt attack into his tilt quad 2. And before it ends, you do two hit jump and do two hits in the air. So after this, two hits, tilt attack. So that jump, two hits, tilt attack, tilt quad 2, quad 2, quad 2, quad 1. Jump, two attacks, tilt quad attack, tilt quad 2, quad 2, quad 2, quad 1. And then that's the end of the combo. So it's basically just the same thing twice after you do the ground part. So you do this. And you're basically gonna do this part twice. After you jump here. And then do this again. 
Bam, 11,000 damage, really good, and a meaty blow, so he, like, Balkugo sitting on the ground there. Um, and that's really good for, like, you know, when he's meaty blown, you know, I can call out Todoroki, he'll put out ice. Oh, wait! I didn't actually realize, they changed Todoroki's support. Instead of that, like... Oh, wow, that's really cool. See, that's extra good for this team now, then. Eaters is still the same. Yeah. But, um... So, yeah, after you've done the meaty blow... Hey, wait, I wonder if I can get a... I'll just try and get a meaty blow quicker. She just did a normal combo. Yeah, yeah, pretend you got meter blown. Then you call out Shigaraki. I mean, Shigaraki. <laughs> like, you call out Todoroki when he gets meter blown, so they have to block this ice on wake up. And you do your red attack, and you go in for the combo again. So you call out Ida or call out Todoroki there. And then they have to respect you on wake up. So, yeah, that's. So he's got some pretty cool combos, and also he's just really flexible with his combos now because he can combo and like with do a lot of different combo routes. So like if I do this in the neutral, I can combo off of that super easily. And if you ever see that you're in like the right scenario, like if you're facing a wall or like you're like kind of in a corner situation or something, like if I see that I'm doing my combo and it's about to end here, I can actually get a bit more damage and do the full quad two string instead of just doing a bit of it. So like, mm, okay, what's an angle I can get at to show this? Oh, it nearly works there, okay. But sometimes you can do the full quirk 2 string, and then go into the quirk 1, and then that gives you an extra chunk of damage to your combo. No! But yeah, anyways, wait, here, if I just simplify it and do, like, um, uh, like, oh yeah, look, it works out. So, so in certain scenarios, and I'm sure you'll get better at realizing when it's the right scenario, but in certain scenarios you can, you know, get the full Quirk 2 string and then it adds some extra damage. But yeah, that's basically shoot style Deku. He's he's kind of similar, and he's got a few little changes. Like if you read through the patch notes, there's a few ones like quality of life changes. Like this actually wall splats now. His um this when it hits up close, it does the two hits, and that actually puts him into the wall. It actually sends him flying for quite some time, so you can just get an easy wall splat that way. And then go in for your combos. Whoa, there's a lot more damage than I expected, jeez, wow, 12,000 zero dash cancels, that's pretty awesome. But yeah, that's basically, um, shoot style Deku. And the reason I've, like, I have the team, um, supports, usually I do anyways, but they're actually really good for him, because he doesn't really need any supports to extend his combos, because, like, he can already extend them to the max until they media blow, and getting, like, 11,000, 12,000 off of every hit with zero dash cancels is already really great. Like, off of any hit. Like, you can do it, like, if he just, like, randomly catches you with, like, an air attack. You can go into, full, you know, full combos and do lots of damage. And, yeah. Or, like, off of this, if he catches you, or this, he can dash cancel and then go in for a combo. Because they change this so you can actually just only dash cancel once it hits. So if it hits the opponent, then you dash cancel. And it only works if, you, um, if it hits the opponent. So you're guaranteed to get a combo and do the dash cancel if it hits. And then you're getting big damage just off of hitting them with a the projectile. So he's getting guaranteed lots of damage a lot of the time. That's the Todoroki setup I was just talking about. So And um, he also doesn't really need meter for his combos. So he doesn't need support and he doesn't need meter because he can extend them to the max without doing dash cancels or support extensions. And his plus ultras, like, sorry shoot style Deku, but they kind of suck. Like, even if you do kind of a combo like this... Oops. It really doesn't do that much damage. Like, if it's, um, his plus ultra one, it only does about 13,000 damage, which is only a little bit more damage than if he got, like, a wall splat combo. So, I definitely don't think it's worth the meter. Like, if he can get that much for free, why would you spend, like, a whole plus ultra on it? See, this plus ultra 2 is not going to do that much damage either. So yeah. and But if you have these supports, you can just, you know, save up your meter, you know, maybe do the occasional, like, guard cancel or something, you know. 
to save yourself from like dumb pressure or maybe you can like you know dash cancel to keep yourself safe but um if you save up your meter and you know you're not doing too much just like any hit into a plus ultra three like if you like read that it, if you see that it hits you can even do it after this because he can combo off of this now so if you do something like this and you see that it hits oops hello <laughs> You see that it hits, go in for this, and then go for plus ultra 3. That's an instant 24,000 damage. Like, <laughs> and if you're, like, even if it's at the beginning of the round, that's a huge chunk of damage and you've immediately taken the advantage. And if it's partway through a match, you've probably done a little bit of damage to them, so it's like an instant kill. Like, even one hit into the plus ultra 3 does 24,000 damage. They're pretty ridiculous. So I think, yeah, shoot style Deku is definitely a character that just saves up his meter for a team plus ultra and then instant kills you in the last round. <laughs> so yeah, he's... I don't know, he's a cool character. He's very flexible now. You know, if you're facing a wall, get a wall splat with his, this rock move. And he's, you know, got very flexible combos. You can even combo like this if you want, just like how he used to. But yeah, very interesting character. I think he's really fun. Uh, you know, leave comments down below if you want to see me break down next, because there's a lot of characters, so I, and I don't know who I particularly want to break down next. So far, I've done Mirio and Shoot Style Deku. So, leave your requests down below, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.